they are on fire. United Plugin, a new company, and they already have some great plugins. We reviewed Hyperspace, Royal Compressor, Fire Cobra, and today there's a new one, Fire Master. Let's take a look. Hello everyone, welcome back to Mixpress TV. Hope you're having a great day. Before we start, check the info box down below for my mixing courses on Pro Mix Academy, discounts and special offers on plugins, and also happy holidays. We are around that time of the year, and it's a great moment. If you want to become a Mixbus TV member, click the join button. You support Mixbus TV, help me out making more videos, but most important, you access to exclusive content like members only posts, videos, live chats, and also mix consultation with me by email or Skype. Click the join button, take a look at what's about and see all the perks. Firemaster is their new finishing plugin, the polishing plugin, best used on the two bus or as a mastering tool. This plugin has a 64 bit at any sample rate and it's super easy to use. You can see very few controls, input, output, bass and air. So you have a low boost, some sort of psychoacoustical low boost, same for air, and then depth and color control the stereo field and then a dry wet knob. While it's meant to be used on a full mix or as a mastering tool, it can be used off-label on single tracks with great results. We'll try it on a couple of synths. Without further ado, let's hear how it sounds on a couple of my mixes. It's nice, it's very, very subtle, very transparent. It doesn't mess up with the frequency response of the mix. It sounds very natural. Even the depth on the color, you don't really hear the action until you go overboard, which is uh, in most cases way too much. So it's fairly transparent. Other mix. <laughs> It's really nice. The, the, the bass control reminds me of some of the best psychoacoustic processor for enhancing low end. It's very smooth, it's very round. It adds that subby weight more than the punch in the low end. The air doesn't really feel like an exciter, uh, more like I can think of two EQs that I really like, the MAG and the SPL. Uh, kind of a combination of the two. The SPL is a little smooth, too smooth sometimes, and the mag is a little too harsh sometimes. This kind of a feels like an in-between. I love the depth and the color. Really, you can you can really feel and hear the the stereo expansion there. Uh, I would want to be more familiar with it before slapping it on a finished mix or something. But keeping it on the two bus and adjusting as you go, checking phase. Dude, it's nice.
that's really nice. It's actually one of the few uh, polishing plugins that I actually like because usually it's just too much or too processed of a sound when you just, you know, they market a plugin as a finishing plugin. They try too hard. This is very natural, like objectively, it's pretty natural. I mix all these songs, so I know my mixes very well. So another good plugin from uh, from United Plugin, this is Fire Master. You remember the Fire Cobra was really cool saturator. Yeah, the dry wet knob doesn't give me any weird phase problem when I use it 50% with pretty high settings and we are around Christmas time. So <laughs> that was a song that I mixed for Virgin Radio uh, some few years ago. It seems appropriate. And shout out to Down to Ground, great band that they played with Skunk and Nancy on tour with them. Shout out to them. Those guys are awesome. As I never did before. Yeah, it's totally nice. Like as you can see, now I'm using just the bass and air, just the EQ part. It, again, it sounds very natural. Um, let's try the depth and color here. Yeah, actually, this plugin sounds really good. Um, request for. Uh, United plugin, give me a, in the depth and color section, give me a low pass filter so I can focus the stereo width just on that and we are golden. <laughs> also shout out to Kaos India, that was another mix. They are doing really, really well. Um, they are with Universal Record right now after this album that I mixed and mastered, like a really cool band. All right, let me try it really quickly on a synth. Cool boat to stereoize such a synth like this, a mono synth like this, and also for the low end. And I'm exaggerating, of course. But I like it because even right now that I'm like basically a 95%, there's some sort of compression in this uh, added low end, which um, keeps it controlled. I like it. I love it. Let me try it on a vocal. Who knows what happens with this? You can actually on a mono track on Pro Tools, select the mono to stereo version. So it stereoized the vocal on site. So unembraceable and at last, look it dead in the eyes. The peel off the sky, all is erasable, and there's nothing left here for you and I. Why do we even try this? It's nice. Let me cut the effects so we can hear the stereo width, which I'm exaggerating right now. So unembraceable, and at last, look it dead in the eyes. It, yeah, it sounds like ambience uh, and a little bit of modulation. 
it would be probably cool in wet dry. So unembraceable and at last Look you dead in the eyes The peel off the sky All is erasable And there's nothing left here for you and I Yeah, this way it definitely adds a little bit of depth But keeping it mono, it can be very useful So unembraceable and at last Look you dead Or for special effects like this So unembraceable and at last Look you dead in the eyes The peel off the sky all is erasable and there's nothing left here for you and I. Yeah, the air is very pleasant uh, unless you go like stupid overboard. It's never harsh. It's a, it's a very nice plugin. So congrats to uh, United Plugin. This was Firemaster. This is it for this video. I hope you liked it. If you did, please don't forget to leave a like. Link to this plugin is going to be in the info box down below along with my courses and discounts and all that if you want to become a mixed bus tv member and access to exclusive content click the join button subscribe if you haven't already thank you for watching see you next time